Looking at a sleeping pad? Does it taste good? Does it taste good? Oh. Oh. Right. Hey. Hey. Oh. No, don't lick my face. No. No. Oh, he's flipping over. He's flipping over. Oh, 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 oh. We've got an upside down Monty. He's upside down, he's crazy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey Monty. Well, it looks like we've got another picture perfect blue skies day. Well, we got a plane. Anyways. I slept pretty great last night. Monty, you ready to get up? Monty, let's get up and greet the day. Go ahead, you can go. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Jump over me. Jump over me. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, oh, man, it's just a beautiful scene out here today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, Monty? Hey Monty, look at you. Look at you, you little critter. You little critter, you got sticks in your face. He's got crap in his tail. You know what Monty could use? Monty, I know what Monty could use. Monty, it's your favorite thing in the world. Monty, come here. Monty. Monty! Monty, what are you doing over there? Hey! What are you doing? You gotta come, come on. What's this, Monty? What's this? What is this? What is it, Monty? It's the brush. Uh-oh, dun, dun, dun! Come here, Monty. He's like, no!
I know my idea is the worst. But you got so much crap in your fur. We need to floof you. You need to be floofier. Right? Oh, yeah. It kind of feels good, doesn't it? That's a no? Or is that a yes? Yes! I'll take it as a yes. You need some floofing, dude. You got junk everywhere. Hold on. Don't you want your 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 booty to be beautiful? Hold on, hold on. Hey, it's not done. Come back here. Come back here. Yeah. Does that feel nice? How about your cheeks? How about your cheeks? Okay, Monty. All done. 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 You want a stick? You want a stick? Is this your stick? Is this your favorite stick ever? The black flies are out, Monty. They are out. Oh, it is beautiful out right now. So, the black flies are out. Um, we've got to pack up and make some oatmeal, but I don't know what the heck we're doing today. Um, like I said, we kind of have an extra day, so... When I'm done with my oatmeal and coffee here, I'm going to sit down and we have to glance over the maps a bit and figure out what we're doing. So, Monty, bring me that stick. Monty, bring me that stick. Bring it here. Bring it here, Monty. Yeah. You little monster. Oh, yeah. All right. Oops. Cue Offy and Coatmeal sequence. Coffee and oatmeal sequence. <laughs> So, it looks like we don't have crazy far to go today, um, really at all. We've got one, two, three, four, five, five portages maybe? Oh, this one looks weird. It looks like it's like, it could be one really long mile portage or like three littler ones. We're definitely going to do the three littler ones. So yeah, we just don't have too far to go. So like, like I've said probably 10 times already this trip, and I'll say it again, I like to move. I like to keep moving. I like to have a new campsite every day. I don't usually stay at the same campsite. The only way, the only times I do is if I'm with other people or with funk or it's winter time. Usually I'm just moving. But uh, another reason would be is if, if the fishing was insane somewhere, like if I were to ca be catching lake trout like crazy at those spots I tried and everything was insane, I'd probably I'd probably stay maybe stay here again or on this lake. But you know it was it was okay. I'm sure I, I you know I'm doing things wrong. Whatever. 
but the, the walleye fishing is at least good here. I know it, sunny day like today again, I know if I stayed here and I go trolling at night, I could definitely catch more walleye. But we're near the, the butt end of the lake. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is do these five, six, seven, whatever portages. I don't know. There's, they're a bunch of small ones. There's nothing crazy. There's a quarter mile eighth of a mile, small ones. Um, hmm. And then the, we just don't have too far to go, so we're going to have some pretty big fishing days here the next three days. I'm going to do a lot of fishing, fishing all along the way. I'm going to take my time. We're just going to, we're just going to really relax. I'm not going to race at all. We're just going to scoot along, fish the whole time. And you know, that's more about what this trip was about anyway, so since we're not moving this far, I'm definitely going to make it, yeah, I'll, we'll peek at the maps in a second here, but we're going to make it the further way that I showed earlier. Um, and then we're going to meet back up at that lake, maybe stay there tomorrow. We'll do a couple portages the next day. Yeah, that's a plan. That's what we'll do. Okay, that seems like a plan. So yeah, this, these, there should be some waterfalls along today, and I'm going to fish pretty good at the base of those waterfalls, because I know the bass, pike, and walleye are all always sitting there at that rushing water down the base. So we're definitely going to try that, that running water. So let's take a look at the maps here. Actually, I'm going to finish up my oatmeal, my very soupy oatmeal. Mmm. You know I like it soupy. I don't I don't really care for thick pasty oatmeal. Mmm. You know? It's more like soup, like a soup. Mmm. Alright. I'm gonna finish up my oatmeal and coffee here. We'll look at the maps and then we're gonna get packed up and get in the water. Okay, so here's the trip once again. We started here and we cruised over this way, stayed here the first night, headed up through here, and we stayed here the second night, caught our walleye. Then we headed this way, and we stayed here, uh, night three, headed up this way, we fished all down here, and then we headed down and we're staying right here. Now today, we're gonna head this way, we're gonna fish all in here, we're gonna head down here, fish any of these waterfalls that are nice, and I think we're gonna stay on this lake, that's the plan so far. And then we'll explore over here, we'll see if there's a waterfall here or something, and then maybe we'll come down, we'll spend the next day here, see that's not too far, so we'll do a lot of fishing, and then we're gonna head down this way, and I think I wanna stay on this teeny little lake, it looks like a nice little, there's a one campsite, we'll see if we can get it if it's not taken. And we'll stay there, and then we will head home the last day. Come on now. I know you're chilling in the shade, but it's time to go get some sun. Ready for some sun, Monty? Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come here. All right, in you go. Or I'll carry you. All right, how about this? Whee! Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Doesn't that feel nice, Monty? We're escaping the black flies and a nice little breeze. Oh, it feels good. It was getting, I was starting to get sweaty at camp. I think today has got to be, got to be the warmest day. Warmest day so far. And it's, well, <laughs> What time do you think it is? 
give you 10 seconds to guess what time do you think it is. Noon. <laughs> we slept in, I poked around, looked at my maps, I don't mind. Like I said, we're, we're this trip is, we're not moving far, we're not going hard, we're fishing, we're relaxed, and this is like super enjoyable. I'll go, I go a little bit harder in the fall time. That's when I do my little bit more further and farther trips and more exploring. Because there's less, usually less bugs and it's usually colder. I like the colder temps when you're moving. I do not like moving in heat. No sir. Last year we moved pretty far in the heat. I actually looked at some of my past trips and I'm just like, whew, that's a lot of distance. <laughs> this one is like nothing. But hey, you know, they're all good. This is, it's gorgeous out. Monty, you want to troll line? We're going to troll the old chartreuse because they, this is what caught that walleye last night. This jointed floater. Now I know that, that that's killer. That's good. Now I can, I, I got two of those. So that's, that's good to know. I like, I, like I said, the chartreuse, that's great for nighttime walleye. Perfect. So I'm going to put on my chartreuse deep diver, even though yesterday it didn't do me any luck. I am very confident that that lure will still work if, the, if it goes by a fish. So we're just going to keep using it because it's never failed me. Never. I mean, yesterday it failed me and the rest of the trip it's failed me, but I mean never. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Today's also going to be a day where I regret not having sunscreen because it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. And another thing about today is since we're going to be fishing all day, and it's, you know, moving on the water. I don't like to keep Monty just sitting in the boat all day in the heat and the sun. So what we're gonna do is probably make him go swimming, throw the stick for him, you know, take breaks, fish from shore. We gotta keep him cool. We can't just let him bake. Even though he's fine, I still don't like to bake him. I don't want a baked Monty. I want a cool, cool chill Monty. So even though he's already pissed and his eyes are closed, we'll take care of our Monty. Always gotta think of the Monty. It's always how comfortable your Monty is. That's your Monty's having a good time, you're having a good time. Oh, shit. Got a fish already. Oh, that was quick. Woo! Alright. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yes. All right. We're, well, if we if we get them in, this will be our you know fish for the day. That was fast. I just I just clicked to set the line. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do we think it is? It's not fighting like a pike. Feels decent though. Whatever it is. Oh, it is pulling. Oh, this could be a nice pike. Oh, it's pulling from a ways out. It's moving around. Ooh, what's it gonna be? You're staying deep. It's gotta be a lake trout. It looks like a laker. I think it's a laker. I, I saw it just surface. Maybe it's not as big as I thought. It's just feisty. Oh, it's a lake trout. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's how we catch them. See, I knew this lure would work. I knew it. We just had bad luck yesterday. <laughs> All right, goal accomplished for today. We got our one fish. We don't need to fish anymore. Let's just not fish the rest of the day. I'm done. All right, there we go. Beautiful lake trout. This has been perfect eating. Just one fish. This is all you need. This is a lot of meat on there. That's a good guy. All right, let's let this guy go.
There we go. Let's catch another. See what he did to my lure. When they twist in your net like that, it rip. This is these are made out of balsa wood, so it just rips these apart. But fortunately, the metal goes all the way through, so it just looks ugly, and they still work. It only doesn't work if they bend it too much, and when you bend it back, it snaps off the back hook. Because this back hook is usually what catches them when they nip at it. I caught them, I catch them most of the time. Usually when they miss when they're biting it is when you hook them with this one. But yeah, you just bend it back like that. It'll work just fine. As long as the, as long as it won't break off, it's good to go. But he definitely messed up. That was like a brand new one. And it's already destroyed. Usually they, I catch a couple fish. Pike, pike destroy them. Let's keep going, let's catch another one. There's a couple of islands coming up up ahead, but uh, I will try trolling through it. I think it's gonna be a little too shallow in the middle and we'll get a snag, but if we don't, I think there's a high probability we'll catch a fish there. Because that's like a choke point in between two little islands to go down the lake. Maybe even up to it we'll catch a fish before it snags, but we'll probably get a snag. <laughs> we'll see. One or the other. Snag or fish. That's my that's my prediction. Still got to see if my, my prediction holds through. We've got another 100 feet before this line gets passes. The prediction was fish or snag. Now that it doesn't seem that it's going to snag, let's hope it's a fish. Five, four, three, two, one. I was wrong. Wrong on both ends. Oh well. I don't like being wrong. Mm. That's a sweet campsite right there. I wish I would have went down this far now. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the campsite. It was a nice spot, but that's really sweet. And I caught that walleye down here near those islands that we just went in between. So we could have fished longer. But if we did that, things wouldn't have probably worked out the way they did and we wouldn't have caught that walleye. So nee, nee, nee. I'm happy it turned out the way it did. But now I can remember that spot for next time. Next five years when I come back. Growing across the middle here and there's just like a big shoal. It looks like there's a I can see it underwater in the middle of the open. There's a big rock just below the surface. Uh oh, I think we're gonna get snagged here because we just went around those islands. Oh no! I don't want to snag in this wind. The wind picked up here. Ah! On rare occasions, the Monty will switch sides when he's feeling frisky. He has done so. Are you feeling frisky, Monty? He's like, hee hee! Yeah! Hee! <laughs> Monty. <laughs> Stinker. We don't have too much further to go till the portage. And then it's got a couple portages in a, a couple portages in a row. It looks like. This doesn't seem like there's a nice pool for fish and super clear. And it becomes rocky. Oh, never mind. There's a lake trout right there. Oh, there's lake trout. Oh, those are carp, I think. Maybe, 
Maybe not a lake trout, maybe carp. What is that? Oh, oh there's all sorts of fish here. Let's try it for whatever they are. Oh, we're getting blown. Oh no. Ah. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna fish this for a second, just from the other way, so we don't get sucked down this river. I think these are all suckers. And they're they're probably not. Oh, there's a bass. Oh, and he didn't want it. You see every fish right now. You can see suckers all in here. At first I thought those were Lakers until I saw them out of the weight. Those were definitely tons of suckers. I saw bass, I saw a big old pike in there. I threw everything in my arsenal at them. Every single lure, spinners, spoons, everything, all sizes. I even threw my troller. I was trying so hard to capture one on camera. The closest I got was uh, a bass turned and looked at my spinner, but then was just like, nah, I think it's because I was too close. And then a sucker, I don't know if I caught it, but it like, it sucked in the leech just a little bit and then it spit it out. But uh, look at this, you can see them all just. Look at them all. Look at them all scatter, just tons of them. Oh man. All right, let's move on. Next lake. Good little spot to throw the stick for me.
Good boy, Monty. Good boy. Oh, black flies. Are you ready? Come on, Monty. Slipped on the rocks. Gotta be careful on these slick rocks with these muck boots, eh? Good boy, Monty. Well, we're gonna fish the end of these rapids here on the other side of the pool. I let Monty swim over here, but it doesn't matter because the pool looks like it's on the other side, anyways. And if I can see good, we'll try to get some underwater shots catching a fish. Let's just try first right here at the end of this. Let's see what happens. Definitely not seeing fish like on the other side. But I guarantee there's fish in here. I mean, fish wash down those rivers and stuff. I'm not seeing anything though. Crystal clear. It's so weird that they don't want anything to do with this white jig. This thing is fire in every lake I've ever fished. It always works. Except, no. Worked great on the first lake. I don't know, you know, some fish are pickier than others. Oh, there they are. There's the suckers. All I saw was were the suckers. Um, the the holes here, it's not very deep. You know, they, they there could be walleye in here or whatnot, but I'm looking for, at the end of those rapids, deep, deep water. You know, that you can't really see down in. Kind of like what was on the other side where I was fishing for all those other fish. I want that at the end side. We'll try there. So we're just going to keep moving on. There is a nice tree right up ahead, though, that has regret in the morning if I don't try that tree, you know what I'm saying? If I were to put how much footage I recorded of those underwater suckers fishing for those with all my different lures in the video, the video would be longer by an hour. That is a fact. I was recording the whole time. I killed a battery and a half because <laughs> the water is super cold, so it killed my battery faster than normal. Because I was really, really, really trying to see if I could get a bite and catch a fish on camera underwater. That would have been so cool. I'm going to try to do that sometime. But one of these days we're going to get it and it's going to be super awesome. We almost had it. That sucker almost bit it. Even if it's just a sucker, I don't care what kind of fish it is. Except it's got to be bigger than a panfish. Those, those will be easy. But there's a big old beaver coming. But yeah, I, I hope... The camera I'm gonna have it's gonna take me some time to go through all that underwater footage but uh, I hope I caught the pike on there it looked pretty decent it was definitely a pike and if I would have I had the wrong lure on when he was coming by if I would have probably had a big old flashy spoon I could have put it in his face and he might have bit it but they didn't really want anything to do with it some of them were slightly intrigued but you know that'll happen but that was a nice spot for, that was like an ideal spot for trying to underwater capture fish biting. If I would have had some night crawlers, I probably could have got those suckers to bite, just wave it in front of their face. A big old bald up night crawler. Ugh, I almost had the one. It would have been super cool. Monty's squeaking, he's wet. All right, let's, let's, let's keep moving.
Man, those suckers are everywhere. Thousands of them. Those things are like, like rats. I wish that was the, uh, the walleye were like that in schools. <laughs> Just thousands, I mean, there's, there's lots of walleye, but I mean, it was like that. Just toss the lure down. A little lake. Doesn't seem too deep. I don't know if I want to fish this one. We'll see Monty. Monty's using me as a sunblock. He's a smart boy. He's a smart boy. Yeah, these a lot of these little lakes are just clear and not super deep. These little this is just like river river lakes. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be swimming today. I'm not sure if they, you know, this this ice cold water. I'm gonna have to be sweating for me to want to get back in there. I was I was grungy the first time and it it felt right. You know, I just had to get it done. But now, you know, there's a slight breeze. We're starting to get to the later part of the day. It's gonna start to get less hot. I don't know. Monty will probably go swimming again though. He loves it. Once he gets wet, he's 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 a weird character when it comes to getting wet, man. If it's for a stick, he'll do it. If it's too cold, he'll think about it. He'll complain a little bit. But once he gets wet, he loves it. He just loves it. He's just like, I'm already wet. Let's keep going. Come on. Now it's awesome. I forgot that it was awesome when I was all dry and comfortable. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother fishing these little ponds. We'll just move until we get to the next bigger lake and then we'll fish there. It is warm. Starting to sweat. I'm starting to sweat. Even these little portages. Oh. But, I don't know. Then you hit this breeze. When you feel this water and you're just like, ooh! Come on to you. The black flies getting you? They're not so bad. They're not. They're not being vicious right now, you know, they're black flies. This is a pool I could probably have fished. No, nah, but the, the after this next portage is the, a bigger lake, so we'll probably fish at the end of that. Maybe even from shore if it's nice. Most of them haven't been like a deep pool like I'm looking for. It's just like shallow, you know, the rapids is just like, I'm looking for like a hole. But yeah, the black flies aren't terrible. They're out and they're buzzing around. The, the most annoying thing they're doing is flying in my ears and my hair and it's into my face. But they're not like, I don't know, sometimes they'll just, every single one of them is out to just bite you and just attack. And right now they're just not. I've only been bitten by a few. They're just not going crazy, which I'm thankful for. I don't like when they're vicious. Vicious little devils. But, yeah, it's not so bad. But I am starting to get warm and I, I want to take these muck boots off and I think next lake yeah i'm definitely taking them off we'll take a drink of water maybe we'll have some lunch before we fish that lake depends how the how look at the portage but yeah we should probably have a snack let's do that monty feed you some lunch a very late lunch very very late all right let's get this one done
Simmer down now, Papa Dog. I got you, Monty. No extra. Ooh. We gotta mix it in. Over here, Monty. Over here. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead there, Pop. Oh! Some skahunas, skunas, white pepper beef jerky from Australia. Way down on the bike. Let's see what we got here. Alright, this thing. I did it in my boat last time. I mean, look at this. Either way, you have to kneel and get down. I think that is so dumb. I have to, to have a drink, I have to go like this. I have to hunch over or kneel. It's gonna hurt my back drinking water like this. And I'm even standing in the water. So like, if I was on the ground, I'd definitely have to kneel. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel refreshed now. So we've got three and a half hours of daylight, one more portage to go. So, um, I decided against fishing right there. I want to go fish some trees. There's a nice, this one doesn't have any depths, but there's a point up here I'd like to try and fish. Toss the jig off. Maybe we should troll here. It actually doesn't seem too deep. Actually, I can still see bottom. Huh. Well, this looks like a pretty lake. There is no depth to this lake. I just went all the way across and uh, it looks like the whole thing's like five feet deep. We'll see over here. We gotta go over another big portion, but it looks like there's like no depth to it. Which is weird. Seems like these are just like connecting lakes for the river. This is kind of like part of the river, I guess. I'm not gonna fish it if it's too shallow like that. Nyeh. Nyeh. We'll get to the next one. The next one is the lake we're staying at. And it looks like um, there's probably, let's see, probably some waterfalls uh, for, near this portage. And there could be the hole we're looking for at the end. And there's also a few campsites. So if it looks like it's promising for fishing, then, and there's open sites, we'll stay at them. We'll stay at one of them, maybe that are kind of near the uh, near the waterfall. Maybe not too close. I don't know if I want to be too close because it'll just be like all night. But it would be kind of cool to camp out there and then fish for walleye at night near the river or whatever at night. Fishing's always better towards evening and, and at dawn. So it'll be good if it's a nice pool. It looks like it's a nice pool there. Yeah, we'll definitely... We'll check out that area. There we go. Now we found the depth. It looks like it's a pretty large lake too, so I was gonna say, I can't tell. This is just a small, small end of it, but it's a pretty big lake. My map's folded over so I couldn't see the whole thing, but yeah, it's it's definitely deep here. So there's fish in here. If there's fish, you'll catch them. And you know, you may be asking, why do I keep using that white jig all day? Well, you know what? That white jig almost cost caught me a 48 inch northern, that first fish. So that's why I use that thing, and I keep using it, because I know it can pull up 48 inch northern like that first one. So I keep trying. 
I know it's good on every lake. Monty's groaning at me. Look at him down there. That's a good boy. He's a little sinker. Awesome. I just saw these were these bass were staring at me. Ooh, there's more right there. I'm gonna keep trying to catch them, but I hope that got the the footage of him grabbing it. I tried to do an underwater capture. We're gonna try again here, but I'm gonna let this guy go. Dang it, that was a big bass. I think I caught him grabbing it, but he snapped my line. He just took off, and the drag, it it didn't matter. It was, he just yanked too hard, and it snapped it. Oh, dang it. Okay, I finally got one underwater <laughs> and got it in. I turned my drag all the way so it was super loose and I got him, but I've been trying for so long to get him. I, I get, watch, I'm gonna keep fishing and I guarantee I can get a whole bunch if I just keep casting out. It's just bringing it in close enough for the GoPro to capture was the whole issue. That's the whole issue. It's the only reason I couldn't get him to bite. But here, let's let this guy go. All right, so that's, these were, that was our first Boundary Waters largemouth. All right, watch this. It's gonna be so much easier now. I'll be able to catch a whole bunch if I just go a little deeper and I just go out further. Watch this. No, oh, no, not there, not there. Not good enough. Right here. You ready for this? Might need to be in a little bit more. See, look at that. Look at how easy it is. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay, it's set. Oh yeah. If I wanted to fish dinner, it'd be too easy right now. Too easy. Come here, buddy. Ooh, look at that piggy. Oh yeah, that's a piggy. All right. Look at the size of that mumbo jumbo. Whoo ee, that's a piggy. That's a big bass right there, dang. The power bait ain't no joke. Let's do it again. It's right out there. They love this thing, man. It's too easy. It's like fishing a barrel right now. Come on, Bumble. 
I can see him right there. These ones might be onto my plans. Oh no, there's one right there. He's moving in. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He didn't want it. There's a weed on it. This is, this is easy. I'm gonna try casting for a minute here. Let's see if we can. If we don't grab one here, I'll cast all in. I bet there's a. I bet there's tons of them in here. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's biting it, taking it. Got him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this one feels small. We got a little peppercorn. A little peppercorn here. Hey there, guy. Oh, you're teeny. You're teeny. Ah, oh, don't, don't snap my line. Hey, just relax. Just relax. Let me get you. There we go. Be free. Oh, they're destroying this thing. Looking at it, he's looking at it, he's looking at it, he's going for it. Oh, he tasted it. Now there's no going back. He tasted it. Oh, that was quick. On. They're all in here, man. This one feels decent. Uh, no, maybe not. Oh, I can't see. Ooh, oh, he's pulling. All right, make sure my drags. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a good sizer. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Ooh. Oh, look at that mammalai. Oh, that is a huge fish. I gotta measure this guy. Look at that thing. That's a pig. Oh, man. I gotta measure this guy. It's a 20 and a quarter inch small off. Look at that thing. That is a beast. Oh my gosh. I don't know. This might be like a personal best right here. This is a pretty big. I've caught pretty big ones, but this is monstrous. This thing's huge. That's a big fish. <laughs> oh man. I measured around the biggest part with its belly, 14 inches in girth around, and it's 20 and a quarter. That's a big fish. Let's let this guy go. I know this fishing is awesome, but look at Monty right now. <laughs> He's just chilling. He's been sleeping the whole time. The whole time I've been fishing. Even before, like when I put the boat up here, he was just laying out past out. I've just left him. I mean, look at this guy. He's all the way under my seat. Oh man. All right, I'm just gonna take a few casts. I, I always have more fun catching them when I'm casting. So let's take a few casts, see if I can pick one up. And if not, if I can't, then we'll just catch one more and then we'll move on. We, I've spent an hour and a half here fishing. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, those leeches, those power baits, man, I can't get over how much that works. That's crazy. I've got some spots where I know that I'll slay them with those. See, like, live bait is great. I know leeches and slip bobbers work. I just don't, I never think that 
you know the power baits just sitting there on the slip bobber is going to work just as good and i mean it is so that's good to know because there's a lot of places i like to go where you can't bring live bait so yeah that's going to be killer and it's just easier to keep those things i'm getting the chill touching all this water because i'm catching so many dang fish deep pool but I can't not take a couple of casts. Oh this is the worst the black flies have been the whole trip right here just in this spot. Oh. Relentlessly. Eee. I need to get out of the wind. But I do need to take a couple of casts away. It just looks like a nice spot even though they're flying around my face like crazy there's just logs sticking up everywhere this looks like a nice area mm. oh we just caught a ton of fish do i really need to get eaten alive by bugs to just catch a couple more yes i think i do well wow, this is a really nice area i bet the wall i come in here at night Ooh, if we have time, we might need to come in here. If we're close. I don't know where we're camping yet, to be honest. We gotta... Oh, Monty. All right, Monty says, let's get out of here. He just slammed the boat with his paw. Yeah, they're bad right here. All right, let's get in some wind, Monty. I agree. Let's get out of here. We ate some cheese at the last portage. My cheese is getting uh, really warm and slimy. But you know what they say about warm cheese? Warm soft cheese. Warm soft cheese is better than no cheese. That's right. Mm-hmm. 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 So it's time to pick out a campsite. I'm gonna. I got a few to select from here. We've got. We've still got an hour and 15 until the sun sets. We definitely spent some more time there fishing. Spending some time. So I've got to decide where we want to stay. Hmm. <laughs> There's at least three campsites up ahead within a mile of each other, like the whole, um, a mile of paddling uh, between them all. We'll check those three out. Because we've got we've got enough time. I don't know if I'm gonna head even head out fishing again. I might just I might just fish from shore at camp. Just throw out a slip bobber and just relax tonight. I've definitely that uh, that little session there with the slip bobber that scratched my itch real good of fishing today. That was a nice little treat. That was fun. Oh man, I'm torn right now. This is tough. This one's got a nice little like you can camp out on that little grassy spot and you're right near the water but the other one is like open and it's got better fishing it's got a drop off and it's closer to the other fishing oh this one's gonna have a worse sunset These decisions decisions oh hey bird You know what, we're gonna go with the other one. It's, it's a bit more open. It looks like a nice spot right on the edge of the water still. That one looks like it might be a little windier. This one will be less windy and we'll get a better sunset and better fishing and we're closer to that fishing if we wanna do evening fishing. Decisions made. My decisions are final. Monty, we're going back. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice spot. We got a perfect, we sit right here. It's a perfect sunset that goes in between these islands. Oh, it's gonna be good. And then uh, we got a nice open area for Monty's stick throwing. And if I come over here, the wind takes away these nets for the black flies. So while I'm setting up camp, I'm gonna toss, there's a nice drop off out here. 
I'm going to toss out this uh, slip bobber and set it over right by me. Set it over right here. If we pick something up. This will be a way to fish, you know? Just for fun. Because why not? Why not? It'll give me something to keep my eye on while I'm my eye on while I'm uh, packing. It's like I'm fishing and making camp at the same time. Oh my gosh, we're about to be super multitasking. We're fishing while setting up camp, while blowing up a sleeping pad. That is called super tasking. The black flies at this spot, and ever since I got to this lake, are just worse than they've ever been this whole time. They're they are testing my patience right now. You know what? We're gonna try that. Uh, let's just, let's just dump out the food bag. Let's get back to my sprays. All right, here we go. This is gonna be the true test. Just gonna layer it on. And that way, if it's layered on and they still come after me, it doesn't work for black flies. All right, we're coated. I kind of want to spray Monty too. Well, there's one. Oh, I didn't get. I gotta get the whole, the whole arms. Let's, let's just, let's not mess around. I got some sun today. Let me tell you. Okay. I used a whole bunch of it. I'm just coated in the stuff now. I smell really nice. It's better than bo and foot stink. That's for sure. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I deem this super tasking. You kill me, Monty. I'm dead. <laughs> Running around and blowing into a sleeping pad. For some reason, that just sucked the. <laughs> 
<sighs> Auntie, you started it. I checked all the campsites. There's no campsites for a long ways. There's nobody around. Otherwise, otherwise I wouldn't have them barking like this. That's the other good thing about me checking those campsites is now I know, I know for sure we're all out here. All our solitude. Oh, okay Monty. You're gonna pop a sleeping pad doing that, Monty. You gotta, you gotta chill out. If you don't wanna pop any sleeping pads, it'd be your fault. It'd be your fault. It'd be your fault. Okay, see, it's doing that thing I was talking about yesterday. It's not really flowing. It's not flowing at all. All right, maybe it's gonna flow. Okay, it's flowing, but look at how, watch how slow it's flowing. See that? It's just like dripping out, slow drips. Now watch this. First we're gonna start like this. Disconnect that, shoot it into there. Now that that's going, we're gonna do this. See how fast it's coming out of there? So that means it should be coming out this that fast. So it's gonna go like this. Connect that back out. Look at how fast it's filtering now. Just air in the air in the tube. Oh, it's just getting rid of a little bit more air, but yeah. If you're ever having a slow drip from a gravity filter, it's just air in your lines. Don't think it's clogged. You should back flush them, but I always grab my water out out from the edge anyways. I don't ever grab it and like really sediment a lot of crap in it, schmutz in it. There it goes, now it's flowing fast and it'll filter in no time. We just had a bite on the slip bobber. It was definitely a bite on there, it was a fish. It must have just grabbed the tip and not sucked the whole thing up because it just like took it down when I pulled. It had spit it out. All right, so at least they're biting here. That's a little punky, but it should do, it should do the trick. I'm missing the other piece of it. Okay, uh, I can process this up later and just gather some sticks and stuff. Uh, the sun has just set now, so the fishing is gonna be awesome. And that spot is just right over there, so we're gonna go do some evening fishing. Why not? Why the heck not? Yeah. The more I sat there, I was like, you know what? I am definitely going out evening fishing. I cannot help myself. I love me a good evening of fishing. And it is just like a perfect night out. It's just like a slight breeze. Uh, the sun is like cloudy, misty. Oh, Monty shifted. We're gonna, and all those logs, it was just like shallow, it was like, six feet of water, maybe a little bit more. It looked like six feet all over with that river mouth coming in and just sunken logs everywhere. And I feel like if there's walleye around, they're gonna be scouring that area. So it should be decent, we'll see. It'll probably be better if I just use the little, uh, the slip bobber, but I ain't gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast. And if we don't have any luck, maybe we'll troll a shallow Rapala back. You know, I really want to catch a walleye with my white twister tail. I don't know why. I know they will bite it. Those little shits. I know they will. I know they like it. Caught 
them on them many times. That's what I want to use. So we'll try. We will try. We got a loon up ahead. Ooh. They came in for a hot landing. I can't say for sure, but I'm fairly certain if like, like if we were hunting for a fish dinner today, this shore, there's so many sunken logs and logs sticking up. I feel like if I, if I trolled my little shallow Rapala like I did yesterday to catch that one, I would definitely pick up a walleye. But if we're just casting this jig, you know, chances might be lower. I don't really know. I actually have, did I, have I at this trip? Giving it my all with the white jig at night, at a night fish. I casted it out from that campsite. Oh yeah, the walleyes ignored it at that one campsite. Hmm. Oh, I just saw a fish surface. That was definitely a fish surfacing. There's no... Is that a fish too, or are those walleye? Or I mean, uh, loons. I don't see anything coming up, but I see splashes. That was two. There's a third one. They're completely different. There's a bird. I just th saw like big splashes, three different spots. Uh, I'm gonna be quiet once I get up here. We're almost there. But I'm curious, I don't see anything poking out. Oh, there it is again. There's another one. If it's some kind of animal. Oh, it's happening all over, it's fish. They're aggressively jumping at the top of the water. Oh, it looks like... I've never seen a fish that looks like this when it surfaces. Maybe I should try my... Okay, these almost seem like trout. switch into the spinner they're going nuts whatever they are and they're going nuts right now and I don't want to mess around with this thing I know spinner is good for trout it might be lake trout I don't really know That's not what I was hoping for. <laughs> A pike! He looks all beat up. Look at him. Alright, we had to keep going for these. I don't 
know what they want. Okay, if this color doesn't work, I'm gonna switch to a little spoon. Something's gotta work. These are, they, I think I saw color on one when it jumped. They're still going nuts up there. I gotta keep trying. Maybe switch to a spoon for a minute. Normally spinners work great, but I definitely was casting it right next to a couple of them and they didn't want anything to do with it. Just, just the disappointment pike. I got one, whatever it is. I think whatever it is, this could, this could also be a bass. I need to know. Oh, oh it's a bass. Oh, dang it. I'll take it. It's a monster bass. It's not what I was hoping for. Unless these are all bass. I guess they could be. Tell you what it ain't though, it's a small bass. I don't even know if you can see that right now. I'll let this guy go. I wonder if they are all a bass. They could be. Now that I think about it, the one I did see come out of the water could have been a smallmouth bass. Interesting. The thing is, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen bass act like this. You know what they might be? They might be suckers. Now, I don't know if suckers do this sort of thing, but I've been watching with my headlamp looking in the water, and the only fish I'm seeing is I'm seeing a bunch of suckers all over. Now, I don't know if they surface like that for bugs. Maybe they do. Or it could be trout. But whatever they are, they're going crazy. And the only thing I'm seeing are suckers. I'd like to see when, if I can get lucky enough to have one surface near me. I'd rather know, you know. I don't want to just... See, there's a sucker right there. I think it's suckers. If I'm being perfectly honest. <laughs> I don't know. That could be a very wrong assumption, but... I'm going to keep looking. I know you can't see anything right now, but I'm going to keep looking. Okay, out of pure curiosity... I've just been paddling around with my light and just looking in the water, just trying to figure out what the heck these are. This light is very bright. I mean, and they're splashing. That's better. They're splashing all over the place. It's going nuts. The only thing I'm seeing is suckers all over the place. They're swimming all over and they're swimming fast. So, I. T I mean, when I see trout surface, normally they don't jump out of the water like this. Like, this is very aggressive jumping and surfacing. But it, it, maybe it's, maybe they're like trout in there and that I just, I can't, and I can't see very well. But there's, I was definitely seeing lots of suckers. So I, I just don't know. I don't know what the heck they are, but I'm seeing suckers all over the place. And I don't think suckers surface like that. Maybe they do for bugs. Because the bugs are bad here, but I don't know. I'll have to look this up later or look into it. But if anyone knows, you're the mouth of a river here into a big lake. They're going crazy. And it's, it, I'm telling you, if it was trout, it was like brook trout or something, they would have bit that spinner when I was, I was, cat, I, there was a few times where I cast right on them and they, just nothing, no bites. Got that one bass and that pike, but 
nothing other than that. So I'm gonna just throw my chartreuse uh, shallow jointed. I'm not gonna record. We're gonna head back to camp now. Ooh, frisky. We got frisky firewood. Oh, Monty, we'll get you a stick. This is just not the. This one's spiky. This one makes your mouth bleed. You wouldn't like this one. Trust me. That's some nice firewood right there. Probably not gonna make it uh, chop it up into smaller pieces today. This is a pretty small piece. But all we gotta do is boil water for spaghetti and hot cocoa. So we don't need a ton of firewood. Who am I kidding? Let's make up a little little kindling here. Matthew started the fire. It's always burning since we've been turning. Matthew started the fire. Right, Monty? Start the night off right, making some hot cocoa and giving Monty a hot meal. That's what I'm talking about. So before I can sit down and relax, I've got a mess to deal with. Um, when I was in my boat switching through tackle, I was in my slip bobber box, putting away my slip bobber. And it's got a bunch of hooks and sinkers and I just like fumbled it and spilt it all over my canoe and I haven't dealt with it yet but I'm gonna go do that while we're getting this ready before I can sit down I'm just gonna take care of that quick <sighs> oh heaven to Betsy oh I'm hungry I'm very hungry we are gonna have a big old portion of spaghetti see that's that's the joy of catching fish dinners is now I get to have a portion and a half of spaghetti every night. Did you just burp? What was that, Monty? That was the weirdest noise. It was like a half burp. You want some food, dude? I'll get you some food. Okay, you want a hot meal, Monty? Monty wants a hot meal. Oh, he doesn't want a hot smoky. Here's the thing though, Monty. 
You're gonna want a warm meal, not a hot meal. Let's see here. That's mine. Give it a big old, ooh, that's a little too much dog food. That's like two cups. You can't be eating that much. Okay, that's good. Not good enough yet? You want this? Oh, he's eating it. Yeah, you want some pumpkin anyways? Hold on, Monty. Wait. Wait. Let me get some water in there. Just a little bit of hot water. And then let me get a little bit of cold water. And then let me stir it around with a stick. Needs a little bit more cold water. Yeah, it's a little more pumpkin-y now. Now he likes it. Okay. Spaghetti time. My stomach is a grumbling. All right, so let's do a normal portion into this pot here. And then in order to get food coma, we need to add a little bit more. That's a lot of spaghetti right there. Mm. It's even good dry. That's how hungry I am. It's not that good dry. I mean, it's still good. Actually, I could eat that. I could munch on that. <laughs> That's just the food monster meat. Oh, this is a full bowl. This is going to be a, a too much portion of spaghetti. Okay. Let's get this going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but today was a pretty sweet day. Oh, by the way. What is it, my dear? The night crawlers are coming off of the crunchy leaves and they're making so much noise. As soon as you look at them, they go and run away. But um, I checked my watch. Temperature is about 45 degrees. I think I had it set 30 minutes. Yeah, it's not too cold. Might be a little colder than that. Might be a little more like 40, but um, the pressure was still 28.6. So it doesn't matter if it's on my wrist or not, which is good to know. Oh, it's 28.65 now. So yeah, that's good to know. Doesn't seem to be changing at night. What do you think, Monty? Did you eat all your food? That's a pot of spaghetti right there. Ooh, it's hot fire. Okay. Keeps boiling around, put it off to the side a little bit here.
You want the stick? You want the stick? <coughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, we all have a stick throwing session. He's earned it today. Oh man, when he was passed out in the back of the boat. Oh, that was cracking me up though. He was just, when I, I spent like an hour and a half there, I swear, I don't even know. Maybe not that long. Get that stick, Monty. But uh, he didn't really wake up when I started fishing there and I sat there. I got out of my boat, he just like looked at me and just like laid back down. Must have been pooped. Must have been pooped. Well, this is not friendly terrain, is it, Monty? This is not friendly for your feet. You know, we're gonna throw the stick the other way because I don't like it. It's like too rocky. He's gonna hurt his feet running on that. <sighs> it's not good over there either. Just be careful, Monty, okay? You promise you'll be careful on the rocks? He doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> oh. I'm getting pooped too. <laughs> so there, our spaghetti is uh, just finishing the simmer. Ah, then we gotta let it rest. And then we are gonna feast. So I'm just gonna keep. Oh, I'm, 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 not, I'm not being weird right now. I'm just. My lower back. Ah, this kind of. Feels good. Oh yeah. This is a new dance move. It's called the lower back stretch. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh Monty, bring me that stick. Oh, I'll do one of these. Oh yeah, it's tight back there. It's so tight. Bring me that stick, Monty. Bring it here. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna keep throwing it for him. And then we're gonna eat some spaghetti. Tonight, on this episode of Overeating, too much spaghetti. Ooh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a bowl of spaghetti right there. Mm-hmm. That's gonna do bad things to my insides. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that right there? I think Steve wants some of my spaghetti. Steve, you look, you look a little friendlier than the last Steve. Hey, Steve. Oh. Steve, I just want to pet you. You're a friendly guy. Oh, oh, don't go under my spaghetti, you silly. Ooh. That's some spaghetti right there. I'll tell you what. It's just as good every time. Ah. Ah. Spaghetti's gonna wait. Dang it, it tasted so good. Maybe if we just blow it a little bit more. It's so pretty hot. Mm. I just can't wait anymore. I'm so hungry. So. Ooh. Oh, that one burned all the way down. Dang it, it's hot. Dang it, spaghetti.
blasphemy. Where's the, where's the windiest spot at this place? Here, right on the edge of the water. So as I was saying before I burned my throat, um, I think if we have a fish dinner in the trip, another one, which we don't really need to, but um, if we're gonna have one more, it's gonna be tomorrow night. I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd maybe I'd make one on the last night. You know, I guess it doesn't really matter. But I've kind of like how we've been. I've been doing uh, spaghetti, fish, spaghetti, fish, spaghetti, fish. You know, if we don't do one tomorrow, it's spaghetti, spaghetti, fish, and that throws it out of sync. So I'd like to have it tomorrow. But that all comes down to the weather. I mean, so far it's been awesome. Uh, no rain. I do want that rain or thunderstorm just to shake things up. You gotta have it. I would really prefer a thunderstorm over rain. I would, it, if it's gonna rain, it might as well thunder and lightning. Cause you know, just just rain is, you know, it, it's cool, it's great, it's rain, but I want that thunder and I want that lightning. That's what I want. That stuff's fun. But who knows. But there's definitely no stars out tonight, so there is clouds. The clouds have moved in. So that could be some weather coming. It's definitely not a single star. There's been, it's been uh, clear skies both the past two nights. So it's at least getting cloudy for tomorrow. All right, it's still steaming looking. I gave it like 10 minutes. Dang it. Mm -hmm. It was just that bite. Mm. There we go. There we go. There it is. There it is. Mm. Depending on how I'm feeling in the morning, I might it's not too far to go back to that spot where all those bass were. I might go fish for some of those in the morning. Those are some piggy bass. Definitely were some honkers there. It's fun catching bass like that. A big old bass. I love catching all fish. I'm surprised that pike didn't uh, snap my four pound test or my, my and yeah, and steal my little spinner there. I can't believe I caught that on that. Was that a mouse? No, it must have been. Monty's sitting by the tent entrance. He's ready to go to bed. He's done for the day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna finish up my my spaghetti here. Clean up, and we're gonna get ready, get in the tent and get ready for bed because Mr. Monty is signaling that he wants to pass out now. All right, Monty. Let me finish up. <sighs> okay, Monty, enter your palace. Go ahead. both huh that's the that's the reasonable thing right you would Monty you know what I think he's doing is he's he's making a pillow yeah see he just bunched it up for a pillow that's a good boy oh Monty so, we had a great day of fishing, sun, I think I got a little sunburnt. That's good, right, Monty? Oh, yeah, he's just loving it. Oh, 
Oh, you smell good. Those those essential oils, they smell good. The sprays, they didn't work very well for the black flies. They worked when it was like fresh and wet, but uh, after a little bit of moving around, they started to fly at my face again. But I'm not sure if they work for Monty, but I don't know. They, they seem to do a little something, but it's not like uh, they were eating us alive. I'm more so curious as to how how it works when they're biting when they're when they're just flying into your face that's not that's more annoying than anything that's not like uh, it doesn't like ruin your day but when they bite in ya that'll get ya I'm surprised I haven't seen a single mosquito I bet they're waiting for rain I bet the first rain the day after a rain mosquitoes will hatch and they'll be bad but I haven't seen a single one yet where's some wood where's some wood there's my axe knock on wood I don't want to see any <laughs> all right I am pretty satisfied it wasn't too much food ever since the rice from that first fish dinner I can eat portions and a half like nobody's business I think that stretched out my stomach anyways we are going to pass out, and then uh, tomorrow, maybe go back to that spot, do some fishing, and uh, we just got a big old paddle day tomorrow. I don't even know if we have any portages. Maybe a couple. There's got to be a couple portages, but we'll definitely check some stuff out, depending on the weather. Depending, It's a nice sunny day. I couldn't tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do a lot of fishing again. The weather is beautiful. We're definitely going to fish all day again. So anyways, I'll pass out. I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody.